was like any other high school. You had your jocks, your nerds, your theater geeks, and of course, your clique. Your typical popular white girl group. They ruled over Skinny Atlas High like their own kingdom, making sure to keep everyone in their place. There's Tiffany, the dumb one, Sophia, the smart one, and the queen of them all, the one and only, Natalie Goodman. I had just moved to town at the end of the summer because of my dad's job. And well, things didn't go quite as planned. <clears throat> Can I help you? You're clearly new here. There's a few things you need to know. Yeah. That's Natalie C. She's front and center, always. So, calm down. She's already nervous. First day at a new school. What's your name? Lauren Mills. Nice to meet you, Lauren. I'm Natalie Goodman. Tell you what, you can sit behind me today. Oh, you really don't have to... Thanks. Actually, what are you doing tonight? Uh... Good. Come over to my house at 7 with Tiff and Soph, and we can have a girls' night. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Hi! Oh my gosh, it is so nice to meet you! I'm Tiffany with an I because my daddy says it's all about me. Uh, yeah, I think we met already. Clearly. Oh, well... You can't blame me. I don't pay attention to people who aren't prettier than me. Oh my god, Tiff, shut up, oh. please. I'm sorry, don't listen to her. She still thinks mermaids are real. What? Come on in. <gasps> Tiff, we Wait, can't get into this right now. You didn't tell me oh they were extinct! No. At least unicorns are real, right? I mean, no. we still... No. What? Oh good, you're here. Now we can get started. Yeah. <laughs> Start what? Your initiation. <clears throat> oh yeah. Look, it's tradition. Anyone who wants to be anybody has gone through this initiation. For centuries, nobodies like you have gone through this and become somebodies like us. Many have attempted to join the ranks, but only the best of the best. Like us! <sighs> yes, Tiffany. As I was saying, only the best of the best make the cut. If you want to make it with us, you have to fight for your position. Okay, so what do I have to do? I, I don't know. Do you know Janet? N no, who is she? Well, Janet's a nobody, that's all you really need to know. Call her and profess your love to her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but here's the catch. You have to pretend to be my hot, popular boyfriend. Oh, so hot, yeah. <clears throat> what? He totally is. Anyways, moving on. Look, here's her number. Call her. Unless you're not cut out for it. Okay, here goes nothing. Hello? <clears throat> Hello. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Uh, I mean... You, me, next Saturday, my place. My parents won't be home, so I can rock your world. Perfect. WTF? How did you do that? Oh my god, Matt, I will get you out of there! Whatever. Now we get to just sit back and watch. Oh, and Tiff, get Lauren some real clothes to wear. <sighs> yeah. You might think you're irreplaceable, but you still have to prove your worth. Now leave, bitches. I need my beauty sleep. There's a party tonight at Matt's, and anyone who's anyone is going to be there. And now that you're one of us, you can be there too. It starts at 7, 
but we're gonna go at 8. So you can come over at 7.30 and we'll all go over together. I'll be there. Come on in! The freshman scum. <laughs> so, I heard that Janet went up to Matt today. No fucking way. Give me deeds. Well, it was before chem. And she went up to him and was like, Oh my god, Matt, I'm so excited for our date later. <laughs> and the whole glass off. It literally could not have been more perfect. That is totes amazing. Good job, Lauren. Oh shit, is that Matt? Yay, he got out! How could he? That slut trying to steal my Matt? She clearly doesn't know her place. He would never cheat on me. It's that whore's fault. We should do something. Put yeah. her in her place. Let's end her. Exactly. I was like really into it. I mean like really into it. So, I mean, I think <laughs> it was gonna happen. Natalie, guys, I saw you flirting with Matt earlier. Oh no, that's just a complete misunderstanding. Fuck it. Get her! You slut! How could you do that to my Matt? Get away from me, you psycho bitch! He came on to me! No one messes with Natalie Goodman and Dorothy Pay! she go? Oh, M G. You killed her! <sighs> no. I hit a cat. Happens all the time. Lauren, go see if she's breathing. I know what it feels like, okay? That is a weird looking cat. Ugh. Who even has cats like that? Since there is no heartbeat, she's dead. Oh my god. You killed her. You... She got what she deserved. Now all we have to do is hide the body. Are you joking? She's dead. Sophia, calm down. You're really killing my vibe right now. We are sisters, in this together. We gotta get out of here. The longer we stay here, the better a chance someone will see us. Okay. I'll take care of the body. Hello? Natalie? It's me. And me. And Tiffany. Anyways, Tiff and I were talking about last night. Yeah. We were talking and we need to get our story straight. Uh, hold on. Let me add Lauren to the call. Hello? It's Nat. Oh, and Tiffany and Sophia are on the line too. Oh, hey, what's up? So, we were talking about last night. We need to figure out a plan. Some people are going to start asking questions. I was thinking the same thing. We need to be ready, just in case. Let's meet up at the school in an hour. Okay. Yeah! Oh god, I sound like Tiffany. I'm just really freaking out right now. We're definitely gonna get caught. And then NYU's going to vote by acceptance. And then we're all going to jail? Oh my god, I can't do this! Do you think we could go to jail for this? We'll only go to jail if we get caught, and we won't. But how do you know? Tiffany literally killed her in the middle of the street. There were houses everywhere. Someone could have seen that. Wait, guys, how did we get in here? Like, isn't the school usually locked at night? Nothing's ever really locked. God, Lauren, you're being creepy right now. I'm not the problem here, Natalie. You guys are the ones freaking out over nothing. We won't get caught as long as you keep your mouth shut. Are you kidding me? Tiffany literally just killed someone. She killed Lexi and it's our fault. It's all Tiffany's fault. We never should have gotten involved. All right, guys, we don't know that the cat's name was Lexi. You guys are so stupid sometimes. Oh my god, Tiffany. It was not a cat. It was a living, breathing human that you murdered. I don't know why you guys are all yelling at me. Oh my god. Natalie, what are we going to do? Clearly, you guys can't keep your mouth shut. 
I'm going to have to take things into my own hands. What the fuck, Lauren? TBH, you're being creepy AF. This isn't my fault, Natalie! I'm not getting caught for this! I've done this once, I can do it again. What did you just say? You heard me. Or do I have to say it in your own language? OMG, I'm totally going to murder you guys. You won't be the first, and you're not the last. Bitches. Sophia, you had so much potential, but you threw it all away to be popular. Too bad you won't be attending NYU in the fall, because dead girls can't attend university. Why are you doing this? I'm just making the world a better place. No one will miss a girl like you. you got a manicure. You're nothing without me. You will be nobody. That's a chance I'm willing to take. Take your last breath, basic bitch. <sighs> Skinny Atlas High School was like any other high school. You had your jocks, your nerds, your theater geeks, and of course, your clique. She keeps them always shone done in her pretty cabinet. Let them eat cake, she says, just like Marie Antoinette. A building, a remedy for Chris Job and Kennedy. At any time, an invitation you can declare. I want to knock, I want it to go straight. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so it's good. Tiffany! Yeah! Perfect. 
anything for the most popular girl in school. You won't get away with this. I'm so pop. Oh, fuck, sorry, just do it again. <laughs> okay. Anything for the most popular girl in school. Okay, say it again. <laughs> and action. Action.